Hi, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog.stampwithelaine.com. I'm going to call today's project Flashback Friday because when I first made this box it was in my 2015 Countdown to Christmas series. There's a hidden compartment here and there's another suite in there. That was way back in 2015 so it's a double ended compartment so you can put a suite in there and then in the top there's another compartment to put another suite in here. I'm updating it with the Magnolia Lane uh, designer series paper and you start off with a piece of cardstock that is 10 inches by eight and a quarter inches. In Europe you just cut off the end at 10 inches and you left with that piece. Now I'm going to just pop that round, score at two and a half inches, so two and a half, seven and a half, and nine and a half. In metric that will be 1.3 centimetres, 6.4, 19.1 and 24.2 centimetres. Then you rotate your uh, cardstock anti-clockwise 90 degrees and on the short side you score at a quarter inches. And I'm going to turn that round so the quarter inches is now on my left hand side. And then I'll score at two and a quarter inches, four and a quarter inches, and six and a quarter inches. So six and a quarter is there. So in metric, that will be 0 0.6 centimeters, 5.7. Uh, 10.8 and 15.9 centimeters. Now I'm going to burnish the lines because it's difficult for you to see. Now with a quarter inch score line on your left you want to take out this rectangle here so you're cutting up two score lines the half inch score line up to the second score line to create your tab and you do the same at the opposite end with a quarter inch tab on your left at the bottom you take out the first square up to the next score line and then I'm just going to angle that and cut a V shape so you're left with a piece like that. Now you want to keep these three panels but you're going to cut up to the second score line on all of them. Okay. On these two outside flaps you're going to just do it by eye and snip off say leaving about half an inch cut a little wedge in there as well but not too much otherwise your box might not stay closed properly So that's the bottom of your box done. Now we'll do the top. Quarter inch tab is on your left still. So you want to keep that one, that one, skip that one and keep that last panel. So let's cut, cut them all up. So cut them all up onto the second score line. All right, right quarter inch panel on your left so we're keeping that one that one and that one on the end but we're going to cut this one away so 
So now your box will look like this. Right? So the end one is your lid. So these ones you want to cut an inch, uh, leave half an inch on. So do it by eye. Now you can use your scoreboard or you can use the stay with your trimmer. If you stay with your trimmer, remember to leave the cutting blade at the bottom so you don't touch it and you want to score from the top right corner diagonally down to the bottom left corner of each panel so this is your tab on the left the quarter inch tab so you're wanting to pull that back so you can see where to line up your score line in the cutting groove and you score diagonally down Okay. Now you can burnish the lines. So use your fingernails to do it. So that's your box base prepared. So the other items you need are the Magnolia Memories dies and I've used the flower petals and the flower centers. The large leaf and the two solid leaves. You'll need some whisper white scraps of cardstock to die cut your flowers. I've die cut two of the larger petals, one of the medium and one of the smallest. You need mossy green cardstock scrap to cut out one large leaf and two solid leaves and from the early espresso scrap you cut one large flower center and one small flower center so I've pre die cut those to save time. Two pieces of DSP cut at one and three quarter inches by four and three quarter inches. In metric that will measure 4.4 centimeters by 12.1 centimeters. Now you'll need to cut these diagonally and again it's from the top right down to the bottom left corner. You need to make sure that it is accurate and it's best to cut from the middle because if you try and cut it from the corner it will ruck up. So do the same with that one. You also need the Magnolia Lane Ribbon Combo Pack and we're just going to use a bit of twine. The gold faceted dots, petal pink ink and a sponge dauber. The detailed trio punch. Now we've gathered the rest of the supplies, we need to corner round the lid bits. So offer it up into the corner rounder section, butt it up along the edges and press from the centre. Make sure you orient your quarter inch tab on the left and then you can start gluing your designer series paper. So I'll speed this up. Now you can use double sided tape but just for speed, I'm going to use my Tombow glue. Fold this back. Can get a bit messy. And bring that bit over on top of this. Make sure these score lines meet up. Now see the magic happen. First you want it to fold like this and then if you take it from the centre and pinch it should twist and then you get your two triangular pieces and you can shut the box at the top and at the bottom. 
so shall I do it again so you can see properly so you need to cross those over just take it from the middle here in the middle of the box and you just pinch and it will go across like that and close your lid and then do the embellishment for the top now because my flowers are petal pink I'm going to do a petal pink center and just work from the middle outwards flicking it then grab your bone folder turn your flat upside down and curl next you want to layer them together so a bit of glue on one of them the larger petal and pop it down opposite the other petals followed by the medium size one again opposite hold it there while it bonds and then the last one on top again in between the other petals Next you want to curl these as well, so turn it upside down, use your bone folder and be gentle with it because you can break the stamens and you don't want to do that. And the same with this little one. Bit of glue on the little stamen, pop it on the larger one and pop it in between the other to make it look fuller glue on the back of that pop that in the middle bring in a faceted gem and take the medium sized one and pop it in the middle of that and press it down pop a bit of glue on the top of your leaf get to the underside of the petal and do the same with these smaller solid leaves. Grab a piece of twine and then wind it round your fingers a couple of times. Slip it off. Attach it to some glue dots. Attach that to the middle of your flower on the bottom and then you can manipulate actually it might be an idea just to punch a circle from the circle punch this one is a one and a quarter inch one and I'm just going to pop some glue on the bottom of this cover it all up and stick it onto the bottom make sure it bonds and that way it will make it easier to glue to the top of the box so that's the front of your box so you want the flower to go around that way so a bit of glue on the bottom then glue that on top shush it up and there's your double-ended treat box completed. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. Join me again next time for more inspiration. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Um, and give me a thumbs up if you like it. All the links to the supplies I've used are below this video in the show more section. Thanks for watching. Bye.